do I find keywords to help me rank on my blog? Hmm. If you're wondering, I'm going to share with you in this new video, the exact strategy, just sort of like the first step to find keywords for my new niche site. All right. If you're interested, you can watch it if you want. <laughs> All right. Now, when I start thinking about like, wow, I have a brand new blog that's not even like a month old. I can't be like targeting like very difficult keywords. The one thing you want to start doing is actually typing into Google what you want to see what's already ranking. I can't compete with, you know, Target or even Pinterest or Amazon. Like I can't compete with them, but I can compete with other new sites. I can compete with other blogs. And so that's my strategy overall when I am writing content for my niche site, which is completely different than Twins Mommy and completely different than all my other lifestyle blogs. I wrote viral content. I wrote content that was personal as well as viral content which is a completely different strategy. I grew my traffic very fast. This is a slow process, but it's going to be sustainable over time. And it's going to be, it's not going to have high dips and lows. Yes. Google does, you know, change the rankings. Some rankings are highly volatile and you can see this in my SEO tool that I use, but generally for my niche site, it's not that volatile. I can, start ranking for some good keywords that people are actually searching for. My method involves using keywords that are more transactional or that people are ready to buy. They're like, they need the post to learn about it and then they'll buy, right? So they're looking for like the best of something, the top of something the they're looking for a review of verses of something. That's the type of thing that people want to know about and they're ready to buy at that point. They might need just a little bit more information. I know when I was pregnant, I did a lot of research on baby strollers and finding the best stroller for twins and why that was. And then I found that one, this one blog post mentioned, I'd go to another blog post to see if that was the same. And if they had different information, I would go back and forth trying to find something for me. And I know people do that. I want my blog post to sort of cover as much as possible these topics. And so I am looking at those types of keywords. I'm also looking for keywords with free because people love free things. And if it's searched or if I can get the clicks on Pinterest, I'm going to be writing about that because I want that traffic. I need people to my site. <laughs> I need people to my site. So if I can get them through that free access and then link to my other product pages or even add some paid links in there, like my Amazon links is what I mean, then I can do that. Then I can try and structure my content that way. And then another type of keyword that I am sort of looking for are like these checklists, these planners, uh, these printables, things like that were do well on Pinterest. And so if I can find a keyword around that, then I will search and find keywords around that too, as well as product base. You know, if I'm going to pick the best kitchen sponge holder or whatever, then I'm going to write about that kind of thing. It may not do well on Pinterest, but it's a keyword kind of thing. I use Ahrefs. It's an paid SEO tool. I do not recommend new bloggers invest in this. It is quite expensive. I didn't start using this until probably four years after starting my blogs. <laughs> I was using SEMrush for a little bit and that was fine. SEMrush is still expensive, but it's a good SEO tool. I just like Ahrefs better. It has more information and it's presented in a way that I understand it. If you need help with finding the right SEO tool for you, Ready, Set, Block for Traffic gives you the free SEO tools and some budget-friendly SEO tools that you can get started. And I show you how to use those in Ready, Set, Block for Traffic to find keywords for you. This is just my method of how I find keywords. And so I do use a paid tool, which is Ahrefs. So Ahrefs has a keyword explorer. You can definitely find keywords for YouTube, for Amazon, Bing, Yahoo, all of this, but I just find Google works. It even works for YouTube as well. So this is where I source a lot of my topics for YouTube and for my content on my various sites. And so, like I said, I would search something like best, and then I would pick something that is a niche in my niche site. So if I did 
let's do closet. So best closet and see what Atros gives me. It's telling me that if I created a piece of content that just had the word best closet in there, that it's very hard for me to rank for. It's telling me that it's globally difficult, but I can go to matching terms here and see what I can rank for. Generally things in the green are things that I can rank for. So something like best shoe rack for closet is an easy keyword that I can rank for. It doesn't get a lot of search traffic, but best shoe rack, I can check this keyword to see if I can rank for that. And it might have more searches on that. Best closet deodorizer is another one. Best closet lighting, best wood for closet shelves. So there's lots here, the best portable closet, the best closet doors. I have a ton of blog topics that are based for monetization right there. And so I would go and research those. I would click on those keywords and I would research more to see if it's something that I could rank for. It may not be if, like I said, if it's just all Best Buy and Walmart and things like that, then I can't rank for that, even though it's in the green, even though it doesn't get searched a lot, it may not be one of a keyword that I could rank for. So um, let me just pick one just to see. So best closet doors, if I click on it, I can see here who is ranking for it. So there's HDTV, trendy, decor home ideas, closet by Liberty. So it looks like it's something that is possible I can look at they were able to rank for something as difficult as closet door, which I can't. You know, my keyword I have to sort of target is best closet doors. Do any of these even have best closet door as the main keyword? It doesn't even look like it. If I target my blog post as best closet doors for an apartment or for your home, then if mine is keyworded for that term, then I should be able to rank for that term because these people aren't ranking for that term, but they're still ranking for that term. <laughs> if you know what I mean, they are picking the sort of the, the root term. So closet door, closet door ideas, which might have a very difficult keyword, a competition for me that I can't rank for. And because they are ranking for such a high keyword, they are using lots of different keywords in their content and probably best closet doors or closet door ideas are in their content, which they're able to rank for. But no one has really pinpointed the best closet doors as a content piece. So that's something that I could focus my content on. And over time, hopefully Google will see that if people use it as a resource and link to it because they can't find a blog post about just closet doors that is for like an apartment or for a home or for their entranceway. Like I can even tailor it even more to be more specific so that I can get the right traffic and rank easily for it. So even best closet doors might be a little bit too broad. I can just narrow down a little bit. I may not get high traffic. I don't know, right? But if people are specific, I was specific on finding a specific type of stroller, front facing or whatever stroller or like a detachable stroller for twins. Like it was very specific for me that I wanted. I wanted one that I could just hop that was convertible to. Like I had a lot of requirements. And so I had to find that specific one. And I know people when they're designing their home and they want specific, they want the specific things. So that's where I would sort of spend the time to figure out the right keyword. And if I could rank for that keyword, another one I said was free. Typically with free, I would do things like a free, I would pair it with like a free planner, free checklist, free things like that. So free, I can check this. It's not grabbing what I want. So free checklist. All right, so I have free checklist here and it's just very vague, but I can go and just view the matching terms for that and see if I can find something. A lot of it is for wedding. So if I had a lifestyle blog that was more towards like relationships, then this would be kind of cool. It's difficult, but there are ones that you can find that you could probably rank for. Oh, here, free checklist for building a new house. That could work for my site here. Free printable cleaning checklist. Perfect. It fits nicely with my blog content because I talk about cleaning hacks, TikTok cleaning hacks, cleaning tips, things like that, where I can now start creating content and provide more value. Blog post that just talks about cleaning tips is fine. But if I had a blog post that talked about cleaning tips, plus a free cleaning tips or cleaning checklist, it just up leveled my post more for people to click on that one versus the other one. So that's where I would focus my keywords there. And again, I would dig a little bit deeper to see if there's something more specific that I could add. And I do have checklists on my niche site. 
As you can see this one here, apartment tips, I have a free checklist that I created for this blog post. I wrote this blog post, I found some keywords and I decided to create a free checklist. So it's right here, the free moving checklist. So now I'm finding, well, maybe if I create checklists for every blog post that can help bring in more traffic and they're keyworded too. So it's things like that where I am thinking for my overall keyword strategy using Ahrefs that way. And then I'll go to Pinterest to see what, what people are looking for right now, because I could be all in the SEO world thinking, wow, these are so many cool keywords, but then I go on Pinterest and no one cares about those things. So I need to figure that out because I definitely want the pinners to come to my site first, just to get that initial boost of traffic. So if I go to Pinterest, I can see what is popular, what is happening right now and the type of words that people use, you know, hacks is a huge thing in the cleaning niche. La I'm finding laundry hacks, laundry tips, laundry content, a huge topic on Pinterest that I haven't explored on Ahrefs yet. So these are things that I take note of and see if I can create content around it that is keyworded and that does well on Pinterest. Here's my, my pin. <laughs> Here's kitchen cabinet organization hacks. Very niched. Is that a keyword that I could use? Cleaning schedule. Schedules, like I said, maybe I can do a free cleaning schedule. Is that an easy keyword to rank for? And it would do well on Pinterest because people are doing that. Here's something more niche to command hooks. Is there something there? So this is what I would do. And I have done this already for my niche site of what people like on Pinterest, because they may not like these general, you know, keyworded pieces of content that I have, like my apartment tips. But if I can add a checklist to it, if I can structure my pin title to say, you know, moving a checklist and they would click on that because they would scroll down and find it then I would get a click there. That's sort of my process. And I use Ahrefs all the time to find keywords for my lifestyle blogs, for my niche site, for Twins Mommy, very easily that way. I can find related terms so that I can fill my blog post with more than just the main keyword, but supply it with content and keywords that just make sense to use, right? I'm not going to just use moving into an apartment. And if that's the keyword moving into your first apartment, if that's the keyword, I'm not going to keep using that. I'm going to change it around and find out what do people say, right? It's moving, you know, your, your first apartment moving tips is might be another related keyword. Like I'm going to find those words and Ahrefs helps me with that. But if you're just starting out and you don't have Ahrefs, you know, what are you supposed to do? Well, in Ready, Set, Blog for Traffic, I have an entire SEO module that gives you all of the steps after this on finding the right keywords, especially for you and the tools that I give you that are free and budget friendly, how to use that and find the best topic. I even go later in my course to show you how I would use Pinterest and SEO to create the best blog post for Pinterest so that you can really harp on Pinterest traffic and get that initial Pinterest growth by merging these two strategies that I teach you. This is what I'm doing. So if you're interested, I'll drop a link to my course, Ready, Set, Blog for Traffic. It's been newly updated, has tons of great lessons that I share with you. And these, I don't hold back. I like, I give you everything, like everything that I'm talking about, how I created my niche site, how I'm getting like high traffic to my sites all of that and what I use. So make sure to click on the link below. Tell me what you're doing for your blog content. Let me know. I want to know. All right. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.